Hello there, this is Mahathan here again. We have seen when we enable OSPF routing protocol on connected routers, they will form neighborship, they will send LSA, they will form uh, the link state database, and at the end, each of the router will do the SPF calculation, and based on this SPF calculation, they will put the best route in their routing table. But what if we have a multi-access network? For example, if we have five routers, all the five routers are connected to the same switch, so the five interfaces on each of the routers which are connected to this switch, they are on the same subnet. In this case, every router will be neighbor for every router, and every router will have to send the LSA to every other router, and this will cause a lot of traffic on our network, unnecessary traffic, and will cause also slowness on our servers, and our network will be congested by the traffic. For this reason, it's important to have a solution for this case, and the designated router is the solution. So what will be the designated router? A designated router is one router elected between all those routers, who will be like the king of the OSPF, where all the routers will form neighbors with this designated router, and then this designated router will be sharing or flooding all the information to all other routers. In this case, we have everything coming from the designated router, instead then each of the routers will send updates to every other router which is in the network. So in this upcoming lecture, I'm going to explain to you about the designated router and the backup designated router, so how they are elected and based on what a router is chosen as a designated router and a backup designated router. And after this lesson, we will also do another lab, which will be in details about the designated router and the backup designated router. So let's go directly now and see the explanation about the designated router and the backup designated router.